My dudes, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are going to be installing, I'm gonna show you how to take a Walbro 255 pump and put it into an E30 factory hanger. Way more excited. Cheers. The beams requires a little bit more fuel delivery than what the stock pump can do. I pulled my tank out of my car, just a quick little story time. I pulled the tank out of the car, it was completely rusted up. I even pulled the hanger out of the car, which is actually right here, and it was completely rusted up. I took the pump and everything off already. This is destroyed. The tank was completely contaminated and full of junk uh, and rust. I pulled it out. I installed a new tank on Amazon. Um, I'll probably put the link to the tank in my Amazon store. Now, and then I'll put the link to the new fuel pump hanger that I also bought on the Amazon store. The tank was about 250 and then the sending unit uh, or the new hanger setup was, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. It's all linked below or linked in my Amazon store. You can find it on my LinkedIn on my Instagram profile in the link in my bio. Put that stuff up there just so I, you guys can see like where I'm getting a couple of these items from. Some of you guys are on a budget like I am as well. So this new hanger has a factory spec pump on it and it's not good enough. So we reached out to our boys over at Radium and again, they blessed us with a 255 Walbro pump. So this is gonna be able to deliver and maintain right fuel amount and the fuel pressure that we need to keep the beams happy. Problem with this is that nobody makes really like a drop-in kit that I've seen. So we need to retrofit the 255 Walbro into this BMW carrier thing. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then we're gonna install it and uh, hopefully be able to prime the car and start it tonight. See what it does. We're gonna utilize some of these accessories to make it fit in the E30 setup. So first off, we need to strip this down so we can get ready to put the 255 in it. So now that the pump is set up on the E30 hanger, it's time to throw it into the car. You're gonna need the O-ring that it comes with or a new O-ring or if you have to, you can utilize your old one. Understand that I come from a place of like, I used what I had around to get me to where I needed to go because sometimes in life, that's just the position you're in. In this case, I have the ability to get a new one and new ones came with the products that I ordered. So I got lucky, I got blessed. Um, it is what it is. If you have to use your old one, don't let nobody shame you about it. As long as it's still kind of soft, you're good. If it's hard plastic and it's brittle and it's breaking, it's junk, swap it. O-rings aren't that expensive, but again, if you're in a crunch or whatever, some financial situation, run with your brung, bud. We are installed. Now, one thing I do recommend, keep the covers off of everything where you got fuel lines that you just did. That way you can see if it's leaking at all. So, battery's hooked up, everything's ready to go. Let's see if it'll prime, let's listen for it. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get it to start. Cool. Let's see if it'll fire. Well, that's priming. We can actually check if any of our other lines are leaking. Remember we tapped this, so we wanna make sure that's good. 
fuel line feels like it's got some pressure in it. I don't see anything down there. We'll go under the car. Oh, sounds like some air getting out of the system. I think it might be ready. Let's try it now. Let's see, maybe the, maybe the fuel pressure regulator might be. So to increase pressure, we'll turn it to the right. Figured it out. Fuel lines are backward. That's a bummer. Oh well, is what it is. Should have uh, did what I said to do, and I didn't. So let's try it now. See if it'll fire. Oh yeah. Wants to start. Come on. Come on. Oh, it wants to so bad. Dang it. Come on. Do you have any T pins? All right, guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel in another way, you can head to holdfast-usa.com, buy anything on the website, and it helps us keep this content coming to you. Huge thanks to the sponsors as well who support all these different series that we want to bring you guys. Give them a follow, give them a like, tell them Micah sent you. As always, boys, stay safe.